one city, one artist, his music. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart left numerous traces in Salzburg, in concert halls and opera houses the world over, and in the hearts of all those who have come to know and love his music. The International Mozarteum Foundation in Salzburg is committed to preserving Mozart's great legacy with the aim of integrating his music into the lives of people, young and old. The foundation fosters the link between tradition and contemporary approaches to the composer through concerts, academic research and the Mozart museums. On account of its efforts, the traces Mozart left behind are more distinct now than they ever have been before. It was here that a genius was born 250 years ago. Young Wolfgang spent the first years of his life in this house at Getreidegasse 9 with his sister Nana, his father and his mother. Surrounded by churches and mountains, the young prodigy heard his first musical tones here. It is also where he sang, played and composed the first notes of his prolific oeuvre. In 1880, the International Mozarteum Foundation first opened Mozart's birthplace to the public as a museum. Today, it is both a tourist attraction and a part of living musical history. When Mozart was 17, he and his family moved to a spacious new house across the Salzach River. The focal point of the house was the Tanzmeistersaal Ballroom, where music was composed and played and where guests were invited. The house was restored in 1996 by the International Mozarteum Foundation according to historic templates, after having been largely destroyed during World War II. Today, it houses numerous exhibits, including a unique collection of authentic Mozart portraits. Since 2005, the collection is crowned by the last original portrait made during Mozart's lifetime, a silver point drawing by Doris Stock. The vault of autograph manuscripts at Mozart's residence and the archive at Mozart's birthplace are rich and indispensable sources of Salzburg's cultural history. Among the safely guarded treasures are a series of valuable historical documents, letters written by Mozart and his father Leopold, as well as over a hundred manuscripts by Mozart, including musical sketches, drafts and original scores. The Mozart hymns audio-visual collection is an exceptional resource for researchers. It contains roughly 18,000 audio titles on cassette and CD. In addition, the film department boasts numerous visual recordings with superb sound and picture quality. From the earliest silent films on Mozart to the latest documentaries, productions, broadcasts and other rare historical treasures. Since 1954, the International Mozarteum Foundation has been working on a historically significant project entitled the New Mozart Edition, undertaking the task of compiling the composer's complete works. Updates on the project are posted on an online publication. Working in cooperation with other strong partners, the International Mozarteum Foundation will release all the texts and musical scores of the New Mozart Edition on the net in 2006. The free downloads will precede the release of the digital Mozart Edition. The International Mozarteum Foundation is located in the Schwarzstraße, not far from Mozart's residence. It houses the Bibliotheca Mozartiana, the world's largest Mozart library, which contains approximately 35,000 titles. The gesamte Bibliotheks- and Forschungsarbeit is sicher sehr, sehr wichtig. The Archivierung, auch the Sammlung von Mozart Autographen and Wenn die irgendwo ihren Abglanz bekommt in der Praxis, dann finde ich das schon sehr wichtig. The International Mozarteum Foundation organizes concerts throughout the year, the highlight of which is the annual Mozart Week Classical Festival. I knew the Mozart Woche was a very important institution. I didn't quite realize how significant an event it was, and the roster of artists that appear at this festival is really formidable. 
Each January, internationally renowned musicians and Mozart lovers from around the globe meet for this spectacular occasion. With roughly 25 events in 10 days, Mozart Week has developed into one of the most significant classical musical festivals in the world in the past 50 years. Each year, internationally acclaimed conductors, soloists, singers, orchestras and ensembles fill the Mozarteum's great hall with the rich sounds of Mozart's music. To be involved in, in a festival in, in Salzburg that's dedicated to him is of course um, something, something special and something we, we feel honored to do. There's a kind of intensity A new contemporary festival for music and art, entitled Dialogues, is being organized by the International Mozarteum Foundation to contrast the traditional Mozart Week Festival. Its aim is to create dialogues between modern music, dance, literature and Mozart. The festival bridges the past with the present and is both moving and experimental. Mozart, I think, stellt eine ganz bestimmte Herausforderung, eine ganz schwierige Herausforderung. Dieses Festival Dialoge ist ja auch ein Festival, wo junge Künstler eingeladen sind, teilweise sich ihre eigene Herangehensweise zu gestalten, zu entwickeln. Taking part in the dialogues with Mozart are not only choreographers, musicians and authors, but also visual artists. I take these ready-made quotes um, and I like to put them in a, into a different context. It just makes people look at this and wonder. The Swiss artist Sylvie Fleury, for example, has transformed a handwritten statement of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart into a striking neon display on the facade of the Mozarteum. What Mozart wished for? I long for everything that is good, genuine and beautiful. Life left its mark on Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. He, in turn, left his mark on music the traces he left behind should be preserved in art, in Salzburg, in life. <laughs>